Grip, Phase Rush. Huh? We'll go back to it at some point. Always swap back and forth between the two. Quick. I can't find Gaga. Gaga. Alright, let's go, Belvetti. This person thinks she's safe. She thinks she's safe. Oh yeah. She thinks she's safe. And I'm out. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, she thought she was safe. Never mind. Oh yeah. Or champ. Jungler Hunter. I got a cringe DM from a jungler. It was all trying to be all cutesy wootsy, like, oh, no, junglers are so. Ah, uh, do I even read it? Do I read the DM I got from a jungle man? Actually, so cringe. Hey, man, I think it's against the tribunal code to be so mean to enemy junglers as Trinomir. Could you please be nice to jungle mains when jungle is worst role and everyone hates junglers? Jungle mains need to be cared for and nurtured so the game can be fun and you can wreck them. Uh, and you just wreck them in game and in mental. Thanks. Question mark, smiley face, emoji spam. Ah. No, it's like a, a, smi a question mark emoji, right? So it's the two dots with a question mark. It's supposed to be like a question mark face or something. Like this. Yep, like this. Yeah, I don't care. You must understand that, yeah, I don't care. Okay, sounds good. And now I'm gonna take the back. The Morrowind expansion. Yeah, I remember that, I remember that. You guys know, fun facts, fun facts, right? Do you guys remember when Riot said they wouldn't do a practice tool? Riot said they wouldn't do a practice tool mode because it could create toxicity. Yep. They said that they didn't want to do practice mode. Uh, this is my first game. I've experienced three levels of increased buffs. Currently, I have about 0.1 AD more. Something like that. Like one point some... Uh, I have 0.9 AD more than I did last patch. Which actually, like, right? Think about it, think about it. On this entire wave... On this entire wave, right? Let's say it's 0.9. I just dealt... Well... On that entire wave, right, I just dealt about, um... Uh, 30, 40 more damage, yeah. On that entire wave, I almost did about an auto-attack on it. React to any of the Darshan thread. Yeah, sure, we'll do it after this game. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good, bro. Yeah, we'll do that. Hey, 
Caitlyn's win rate drop 4%? That, that sounds fun. They aren't decent or they are decent? Yeah, allegedly the quality of the beef is actually not that bad. Yeah, uh, the quality of just the patties. Uh, you have to ask for no seasoning. Uh, just order just the patties, no seasoning. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, minus 2 AD changes could be just incredibly massive for champs. But yeah, because every... So, at level 4, you get about 1 AD extra. 1 AD higher than what you had before. So what that means is that every single instance of you attacking, right? Every auto attack does one extra damage. And if you have full crit, it's... 20% extra damage, like if you average out the crits and stuff. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna dive right here. And then we're good. That's it. That's all she wrote. I was fine with using summoners there, because I just, I wasn't confident. Uh, am I taking? Okay, I am taking overheal. Yeah, I'm actually gonna start getting overheal now. Um, but yeah, I did account for the fact that I could have just messed up right there, which is what I did. So, I always want to have a little plan in action for if things go wrong. An enemy has been slain. You get four for eight, two dollars a patty. Yeah, yeah, and a uh, quarter pound of patties. It is a viable option if you are having a hard time. Trend patch, let's go. Trend patch. Let us go to the trend patch, bros. The win rate, like, barely nudged at all. I'm actually, like, I, I can't I can't really say anything about win rate at this time. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I don't care if my jungler is here. Let it be known. I kind of wish Camille TP is here. It is nice if they did something, yeah. Yeah. Trinomir has always been a champion that Riot kind of never lets be too weak for too long. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's that Trinomir players just quit the game if he's not OP. Or like if he's not playable. Trinomir players aren't really interested in playing other champs. So there's champions like Trinomir where if his win rate ever goes down like 2-3%, he just instantly gets buffs the next patch. Whereas champions like Yorick can be just unplayable for years and then instantly nerf the second they're vaguely viable. Ah, uh, my red is gone. So going for that ego of a trade, um, needed after the changes are done. Yeah. That change was it it's it was just the most disgusting thing by far. Wait, this animation like this, this sigil is so big. The changes to Ninja Tabbies, it 100% feels like that that change alone is bigger than any other change in the patch. And it feels like that change and all of the other changes are completely disconnected from each other. Cuz like that is not a minor change at all. So basically Ninja Tabby didn't work at all for anything really. It only worked for very basic auto attacks. But if it was for pretty much anything that was an auto attack modifier, like a Nasus Q or uh, like a York Q or something like that, it wouldn't work against that at all, right? And so now it does. It works for everything that counts as an auto attack, uh, which it didn't used to before, which. Ninja Tabbies used to just be the worst thing in the world, whereas now they're actually really, really, really good. But the problem is, is that Yorick, right? Yorick was a little bit too strong, and now his ghouls, 
His ghouls, his Q, and maiden damage all get reduced by 12% by Tabby's. And so not only did they nerf him, they also nerfed him infinitely harder by making Tabby's a real item. Viego ults too. If you have Tabby's, Viego ults does less damage. It's so silly. And like all of these champions have been balanced around Tabby's not working. And then like this Tabby's change is put in there of like, oh, hey, you know, this is actually just a minor bug fix, you know? This isn't anything too, too big, you know? I don't even know. Let me, let me look at the patch note. Let me, uh, look at the patch notes. Anybody have the patch notes, by the way? Anybody want to link the patch notes? Ah, I don't know. Patch notes. I'm gonna link it. So I want to know what they said for the Tabby's changes. Thank you. Hello, I'm Riot Brightmoon, the uh, head game designer on the Summoner Drift team. Bronze won for five seasons in a row. Alright, uh... Steel Caps. Uh, so, so what it says, right? Steel Caps will now check a much wider range of attacks when you bong so that someone with a stat... Uh, so... Well, they're just they're just saying the change is there, and they're not actually saying like, oh hey, this might actually do something. The riot devs don't realize that this is actually just the biggest change they possibly could have done. I really needed to use that ghost. I want you guys to understand that. Like that ghost was so important for me to use right there. Hmm. What's going on? Freak did comment on it a bit. What do you say? Not like there's much you can do, Jin. Yeah, like steel caps shouldn't work on the. The AP part of Nasus Q, or Udir Q, right? But it should at least work on the auto attack, you know what I mean? Or Nami thinks it's winnable. Average support main thinking this game is winnable. It's, it's so disgusting. Why is Viego ult an auto? Doesn't that make it apply with Send and Bork? Since it's an auto attack? So you can uh, proc a Bork with your ult. Why would you complain about that? I don't want to fight that. I have too much gold. Yeah, Shen W blocks their ult damage. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's basically working how you think it would work. I always hear so many people just say, hey, build tabbies against uh, this champion. And it's a champion who it does literally nothing against. Like, tabbies was only ever useful against, like, Trinimir. Uh, and, like, specific AD carries and stuff. Just blind them with cube. Now that we have a big minion, we can do it. End. End. This is my end. Uh, can somebody link the Darshan tweets, by the way? I have some points about these Darshan tweets I would like to go over. Chan noise video. York jungle. Uh, there's already nine tails. Oops. Who did that? He got to he got to like D1 Korea with 140 ping, which is wow. D1 Korea with 140 ping. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Hitting D1 Korea with 140 ping. Yeah, that's a that's a really impressive thing to do. I I concur. Yeah.
Ult's indicator to be healthy? Not really. <sighs> Not everything should be spelled out super, super heavily, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, let's look at this. Humanizing our solo queue experience, a thread. After playing Valorant, or literally any game that's not League, that's a competitive game, you'll have voice chat in it. Uh, League needs voice comms in solo queue. I think the first step to improving toxicity is humanizing our experience. Even when we are upset. When we understand clearly that the other player we're talking about is a human. And not just on pixels on a screen, we can be a lot more understanding in our response. I will be making a more in-depth video on this, but I think the toxicity aspect, uh, for far too long, I think we can all do better to focus on thinking and creating steps forward and solutions. At its heart, League is a competitive team game. What made Valorant solo queue so fun for me is that before under strangers, often felt like we were working together. I'd like to do what I can do to recreate that in League, uh, because those are my favorite moments. And then this rioter, this rioter. I share this opinion, but I don't think it solves all behavior issues and introduces some new ones, especially for women in POC who get uh, unfairly targeted simply by participating in voice comms, as an example. So. So. Riot! Alright, first off, first off, Riot has used toxicity. Riot has used Toxicity to, uh, I, I don't care about that right now. I'll look at it in a second. Riot has used Toxicity to, um, be an excuse for any feature that they don't want to put in League. They'll just say, we can't put this in the game because it's toxic. They did, uh, the exact same thing for Sandbox mode in the past, uh, which is practice tool, right? Sandbox mode toxic. Writers literally argued that the reason why the game of League can't have a uh, practice tool is because people would be flamed of saying, Hey, uh, you missed your flash? Go into practice tool, noob. Get out of ranked, noob. Uh, like, that is unironically the uh, the thing that the League of Legends dev said. And that's just a way of saying that every time they have a feature they don't want to implement it, they... It's like the concept of... If you ever say anything about mental health, right? Like, the, you can't really question it. No. Like, And that, that can be a good thing, that can be a bad thing, but it is just a thing. You can't question it. If Riot says, hey, this thing is toxicity, this might, in some vague way, increase toxicity. They think that uh, Riot has conditioned people to believe that, like, if this increases in toxicity 0.00001%, that no possible level of benefits can actually be uh, worth it. Like, Riot has a zero-toxicity rule in that... Uh, they hypothetically state that they just want all toxicity removed and like they've tried so many things for years and the game is still super toxic like there's nothing you can do toxicity has already been solved right toxicity was solved when the mute button was created when the mute button was created toxicity was solved whereas uh ultimately like the thing with voice comms right is that league will always be Super, super, super stunted. Because um, there are no voice bumps. So people can't actually communicate properly at a certain level. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to find the specific writer tweet. But yeah, I can't explicitly find it right now. But yeah, no. It's just, it's just super, super silly. And so a, a good way of explaining why things in voice chat are going to be uh, certain strategies like roaming assassins mid, is at arena, talon, champions that just run out of mid lane and then just AFK roam bot. Those champions are infinitely better right now because there are no voice comms. 
because you can't say like, all right, this guy is backing, this guy is definitely coming, et cetera, et cetera. Like, okay, like he looks like he's going. Uh, you can't give the same level of information. And seeing like the text on the screen is not the same thing at all. Like uh, I have some voice comm games on my YouTube where there's many different plays that could only be possible with voice comms of like using specific twisted fate flanks. Like if we had voice comms, the difference between competitive and solo queue would be way, way closer, right? Whereas right now, you can't actually enjoy League as it's meant to be enjoyed with voice comms communicating as a team with people unless you become semi-pro. Like there's no way to do it in a competitive environment unless you get to master plus tier and you uh, try to join some kind of amateur team. That's the only real place in which you can get a real quality voice comm experience. Like Clash... Clash ain't... Clash is nothing, bruh. Clash does not do a single thing. It does not feel like, hey, I want to Clash. OMG, this feel like I... It doesn't hit the same as um, getting into a five-man solo queue with all voice comms and you just do a lot better. Which every single time that I've played in full voice comms with people, it's just way, way better. Yeah, thank you guys all for watching. See you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys think about that banger game and about uh, voice comms in League. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just so silly. Every time Riot doesn't want to implement something, it's boom. It's toxic. Therefore, yeah, no. Can't do it. See you guys all in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. And good night. Yeah.